Hi guys, it's me Danielle back with another YouTube video here today. If you haven't already subscribed, go subscribe because it's the most funnest, happiest, smartest, and latest YouTube channel on earth. And right now, I'm going to eat a lemon drop because they are really good and I really like them. And right now, I have a bag of Doritos right next to me and I'm debating if I should eat them or if I should just eat them for midnight. So. I will decide then. So, basically, I... That's the bag of Doritos. It is huge, like huge. Anyways. This title of the video is going to be... Or, as you can see, as the title of the video... I had a fire in my school. Now you know, it's always something with the school, right? Yeah. But no, as they say, this was more life risking than any other fire that we had in the school. I'm gonna eat my Doritos. This was more life risking than any other fire in the school. Um, in this school right now, because we had one two years ago. Like a bunch of people died. But What I mean by is we were in third period and like we only had like five minutes, maybe like 10 minutes till third period ended. And Then I'm like, I smell smoke. And then the teacher's like, okay, I'll call down. I'll see what I could do. She try to do everything that she can but not, the principal didn't believe her and and no other person believed her except she believed me stop so, now we're talking we're talking we're talking and then the fire alarm goes off and then she she yells at the caseworker, which is Gina Barali. And she's like, see, I told you there was smoke. It smelled like smoke. And she's like, maybe you were right. And when she said, maybe you were right, I was like, shouldn't you have believed her from the first place? And I was really confused. Like, why didn't she believe her from the first place? And then the fire alarm keeps on going off. They're arguing in the classroom. They're arguing in the classroom and all that stuff. And then they smell the smoke. So I was there too. Um, 
just for information. I was there too. Um, and Bralee told me to get out of the house, get out of the school because it's not safe for you to be in the school in sense of your problem. And then uh, I got out of school and. I found my, I found my, like, my class, and they weren't outside. So I'm like, okay, that's a little bit weird. So, then I decided to walk to Becton. Um, they weren't, they were there. I was like, you left one kid behind, and that was me. And I'm the one with the problem. And... Sorry. So then, they took attendance and all that stuff. Without me, and Miss Riley wasn't there. So I'm like, how did I get here before her? Um. Miss Bradley like Well you must have really ran. Like I didn't even run. I like jogged. And she's like, You jogged? I'm like, yeah, what's the matter with that? She's like nothing, nothing. And then I got to Beckham. I took a tenant without me. And I was there just in time to call my mom and for my mom to pick me up just for a fire. Now. You guys are going to be like, that's really stupid, just for a fire, when you're in safety. And then Miss Riley talked to my mom. And then Miss Riley's like, whoever has a phone and their mom is calling you like crazy, Come with me so your mom and your dad could be quiet. At that point, I was a little bit annoyed because why would she tell? everyone to bring their phone when no one had their phone except me and a couple other people and their moms weren't calling them so then uh, 
I I called my mom. And she was like terrified, nervous, petrified, you know. All that stuff. And I told my mom the exact words that I'm telling you right now. Mom, it's okay. I'm going to be fine. You can either pick me up at 12 o'clock or you can pick me up now. So then I went over to my friend Isabella. Um, I asked her if she wanted to come home with me because I don't want her to be in this school bored as nothing and not do anything. So then we got in contact with, um, my friend Isabel's mom, um, and and she was seriously the best. How do I say the best mom ever? Because she. She saved her daughter from a fire so she could come to my house. Now I'm like, okay, like, Could this get any better? Like, it was just really confusing. Then Miss Rally stands up again, tells everyone to be quiet, stands there for about five minutes, waiting for everyone to be quiet. And she's like, I'm putting a movie on. I'm like, great, and we're leaving in five minutes. And I don't know what to say. Should I watch the movie or should I go home? So I decided to go home. Get some rest. And just like do all that stuff. Next thing you know, you hear another fire truck. And another fire truck. And another fire truck. And... It was just so, it was awesome to see Miss Rally do this because, see how I'm going. okay, All right. okay, house, right? okay, it was just, it was just awesome to see Miss Rally to do all of this stuff. I'm just like really happy for her. Like, she made all great decisions and all that stuff. I mean, I totally agree on her. Like, you shouldn't be in a You honestly shouldn't be in a school 
where there's a fire in a boy's bathroom. I mean, that fire could have went up to the fourth floor like this. Uh, it was just like so. I'm just so thankful that I'm safe and my friend's safe and all the kids are safe because I wouldn't like 300 kids dying because of a fire. It's just very sad. Um, very, very, like, upsetting to see people running out of school because Because of, because for no reason. Let's just have a moment of silence for the fireman and the policeman and all that stuff. Okay, so we had a moment of silence. Now, let's give, if you are watching this right now, I hope you're clapping because we are going to be clapping for a lot of people. Let's give a round of applause for Mr. Bradley for getting us out of that school while there was a fire. Okay, let's clap for the the boss of the school. Let's clap for him for also getting us out of the school. Okay, let's clap for the custodians for warning us and setting off their fire alarm so we know to get out of the school. Let's clap for the fireman and the policeman for helping us and keeping our school safe and helping us block the roads so we could cross the street. Okay, so basically those were shout outs because I'm so thankful for those people and the president and the governor. Let's count, let's clap for him because he helped us with so much stuff. And so much stuff happened between the school, 
and all that stuff. So, gonna shout out to Gina Bradley, the the guidance counselors, all those people, the firemen, the oh my gosh. So, I hope you guys enjoy this and i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you subscribe like the video and comment down below hashtag danny and turn on the post notification bell if you haven't already goodbye